welcome to another edition of Bullseye, or as I like to call it, the Ox Factor. Yeah. <laughs> Our contestants might not be good at singing, but they're dead good at flinging. Hey, and here's our very own Sharon Osborne. It's Tony Green. All right, Shaz. You all right, Dave? All right, Shaz. Yeah, Shaz and Dave. It's <laughs> <laughs> good. Hey, do you know, uh, I'm going to let, let you down here, mate. You know, we were going to have pizzas after the show. Yeah. Not going to happen. Why? I found the pizza bloke dead in his kitchen. Dead. And it's covered in anchovies, olives, sweet corn, mozzarella cheese. No. Please think he's topped himself. <laughs> hey! <laughs> you go over there. I'm going to be the contestants. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. How are we? Are we all right? First team, we've got Paul and Richard, friends from West Sussex. Oh, yeah. How are you, Paul? Very well, thank you. <laughs> it's your Pasquale. <laughs> <laughs> Just say something, say something. Uh, what, what are you have for your breakfast? Oh, I have cornflakes today. Did you? Oh, yeah. You're playing it down now, aren't you? You were yeah, really absolutely. squeaky before, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, Never mind. Absolutely. And you're a football referee? I have indeed, yes. I know, I've noticed the glasses. Yes. <laughs> and, um, but I've got a dad, though. You have what? I have a dad. You have got a dad. I'm yeah. pleased to know that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really good. Well done. Yeah. You don't work in a bank? No. No. A lot of them do, don't they? Oh, they do, they yeah. They seem to, anyway. Yeah. Oh, shouting it out, and the referee's a banker. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, no, no, no. We'll move on to Richard, website manager. That's right. What's the other show you auditioned for? Oh, no. Uh, Gladiators. Gladiators. We'll see you on that. What happened? Got through to the audition, amazingly, which is at a big... Leisure Centre up in London. Right. Had to compete against five or six other blokes. The first round was on a, a running machine for like 800 metres. Well, like one of them travel That's things. the thing, yeah. 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 Um, I'd done absolutely no preparation at all. I thought, nah, it'd be right, it'd be a breeze. Got on the thing, within 10 seconds of being switched on, I got flew off the back. You fell off it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Caught my leg on it, blood everywhere, people laughing. I mean, and was, was there like a big audience, was there? About 200 people, friends Some and family. People. <laughs> fell off the running machine. Yeah. And what, because we're British, you pretended it didn't hurt, didn't you? You went, mm, No, uh, I yeah. swore quite loudly, actually. Did you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we do, though, don't we? You're walking down the street, you walk into a lamppost, fracture your skull, hairline fracture. All you're bothered about, has anybody seen me? Yeah. I know. <laughs> Richard, Paul, enjoy the show. It's going to be a good Thanks. show tonight, anyway. <laughs> OK. Moving on, Michael and Lucy. Father and daughter. Yeah, yeah. You don't get many in father and daughter teams, <laughs> and that's fantastic. You're from the West Midlands. That's right, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You work in engineering, doing... And uh, uh, tool setting. Tool setting for... Mainly for uh, electrical contacts and uh, the car industry, yeah. car components. And have you always done that? Yeah, I've done my life, Good yeah. job, good job. Can we move on to you, Lucy? You're a staff nurse, aren't I you? I am, yeah. At where? Uh, New Cross Hospital in Wolverhampton. That's a big one, isn't it? Massive. Because I was in hospital. I did 32 years. Because you work in the haematology yeah. Yeah, unit. That's where I worked. Have you ever had any funny, uh, funny incidents? There's things happen, but other people probably wouldn't find them funny. I say it, it's the thing. <laughs> but some nurses, I mean, nurses, God bless them, angels of mercy and all that, some of them are thickest, aren't they? <laughs> I once phoned a ward up, it wasn't a unit, this is a true story, take this back to the haematology unit, I was phoning a haemoglobin result through, I phoned up this ward and I went, hello, haematology here, I've got a haemoglobin result for Mr Johnson, won't be a minute, clunk, phone went down, ah, waiting and waiting, three minutes, all of a sudden, phone comes up, hello, Mr Johnson here, She's gone and got patients out of bed. <laughs> Walking out ward with his drip stand like that. <laughs> Enjoy the show, Lucy Thanks. and Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Sean and Paul. All right, lads. All, right. All the way from Aberdeen. Yes. Yep. Is that a dating shirt you've got on there? Here's my dark shirt, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pressure there, isn't it? Yeah. Pressure drawing attention to yourself there. You've both seen your buyers. You both work for the same. Yeah. What do you buy? Oil well equipment. Oil? For offshore, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Up there, yeah, good. Um, it says Paul wants to show off his spelling on national TV. <laughs> Comedy factor. We will see, mate. Yeah. We will see. <laughs> and uh, tell you, you can't wait. Audition for the show in Newcastle. That's right, yeah. yeah. And uh, what happened there? Uh, <laughs> well, uh, we went down to Newcastle and we told the girl friends that um, it was going to take a long time for this interview. It took 25 minutes. 25 minutes, yeah. fair enough, yeah. Just wanted a night out in Newcastle, really. How long did you stay down? Uh, overnight. Back the next day. They wanted right. to come and come back oh. up the same night, but oh. we told them it would last for six hours. No. <laughs> Did you pull? Did you no. not pull? No. no. OK. And it's a secret, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the show. Paul and Sean, we're going to have a great time. Contestants, let's play Bullseye. <laughs> It's the category board. There's ten categories, each divided into three bonus series of £30, £50 and £100. The debt player can win the bonus by hitting the category their brains has chosen. If they hit the bullseye, they automatically win, get this, £150. <laughs> Correct answers in the first round are worth an additional £30. Richard, pick a subject, please, for Paul. 
Try showbiz, please, Dave. Try showbiz. OK, Paul. We're starting off with showbiz. And who knows? Best of luck. That's the bullseye! £150! Superb £150 bonus for an additional £30 on showbiz. Which singer and pop idol winner appears in the film Mrs Henderson Presents with Dame Judi Dench? Will Young. It is Will Young, £30. Cracking start. Lisa, pick the subject. Uh, faces, please. Faces. OK, Michael. We're looking at faces. And there it is, flashing away. Well, it's gone into spelling. The subject's there, Dave. Unlucky. No bonus, but you can earn £30 if you can spell this. To amend, to amend is to change or alter something slightly. Spell amend. A-M-E-N-D. I'll check it with Bully. A-M-E-N-D. Well done, Lucy. £30. Moving on. Paul, pick a subject, please. Sport, please, Dave. Sport. OK, Sean. Sport it is. Oh, he went for bullseye. It's fortunate it's gone into books, Dave, books. and it's there. <laughs> no bonus, but for £30 on books. In the novels by Conan Doyle, who was Sherlock Holmes's partner? Watson. Was Watson. Dr Watson. For £30. Quick look at the scores at the end of that round. Well, way out in the lead, at this stage even, it's Richard and Paul with £180. Well played. Then we go again. This time the question's worth £50 each, but we've lost showbiz boots and spelling from the board. The ones that are lit are the ones you can hit. Richard, again, a subject, please. Um, I'll try words, please, Dave. Words. OK, Paul. Words, take your time. Yes, that's £50 in words, Dave. Playing well. <laughs> On words for £50, a lexicographer would write or compile a what? A diary. It's not a diary, I can offer it. Light on from Lucy. A dictionary. It is a dictionary. Stolen £50. Well played. <laughs> Lucy, pick a subject for Michael, please. Faces again, please. Back to faces. OK, another chance. It's still there, Michael, his faces. Yes, that's £30 in faces. Well done, Michael. Yeah. £30 bonus. For an additional £50, this man made his debut for which British team in 1998? Chelsea. It's not Chelsea I can offer. Richard? Arsenal. It is Arsenal. Do you know who it is? Uh, Freddie Lundberg. It is Freddie Lundberg. Well done, £50. <laughs> Paul, pick a subject for Sean, please. Sport again, please. Sport again. All well, getting our second chances. No, it's yours, Sean, for sport. Yes, that's £50 in sport, Dave. <laughs> needed that, needed that bonus. And for an additional £50, this will put you back in it. Which trophy was called the 100 Guinea Cup until a team from the US won it in 1851? The Ryder Cup? It's not the Ryder Cup, I can offer. Nope, it's the America's Cup. Let's have a quick look at the end of that round. Still in the lead, Richard and Paul have now extended the lead to £280. <laughs> Round three. Questions now worth £100. More difficult. We've only got history, world, science and Britain to choose from. Richard, pick a category. Science, please, Dave. Science. OK, Paul. But it's science. That is £50 in science. <laughs> Done very well, Paul. Playing very well. Great teamwork, great teamwork. For an additional £100, what is the Ishihara test used for? Um, detecting lies. It's not lies, I can offer. No, it's for measuring colour blindness. Lucy, your turn. Pick a subject. Uh, history, please. History. OK, Michael. Yes, that's £50 in history, then. <laughs> Hello, Michael. For an additional £100, which British king was executed for treason in 1649? Oh, no. Offer it. Richard? James II. Not James II. Pass it down to Paul. James III. No, it was Charles I. Charles I. Paul's gold. Uh, world, please. World. OK, Sean. Best of luck. 
Yes, that's fifty pound in well. Well done, lad. Needed that and to put you right back in it. Here we go, hundred pounds. Or her international airport serves which North American city? Dallas. It's not Dallas. I can offer. Right, Richards lit up. Ohio. It's not. Lucy, with a go. New York. It's not New York, it's Chicago. Chicago. So let's have a look at the scores. Paul and Sean, £130. Lucy and Michael, £160. But Richard and Paul still lead with £330. <laughs> on to pounds for points. The three deck players now compete against each other on the traditional match play deck board. The player who scores the most points wins a question for their partner. A correct answer wins the cash equivalent of that debt score. An incorrect answer or pass means I'll offer it to the team with the next high score. Over to you, Tony. Best of luck, Paul. It's treble one, three. Another treble one. And 20, which gives you 26. OK, Michael. Five. Five. And 12 which gives us 22. So it's still 26 that's leading, Sean. 20. 5. And 20 gives you 45 and takes the first round. So, Paul, for £45, Great Balls of Fire was a hit in the 1950s for which American singer? Jerry Lee Lewis. Picks up the money, Jerry Lee Lewis. Well done. Back to you, Tony. Okay, Paul. Second round. Twenty. One. And treble twenty. Eighty-one. Very good last start. Okay, Michael. A little bit tougher. Eighty-one to beat now. Twenty. One. And twelve, which gives us thirty-three. Now, Sean, score leading is 81. 20. Treble one. And five, unlucky 28 scored. So Paul on 81 takes the second round, Dave. Richard, your question again. Which controversial judge who retired in 1990 is the author of the books straight from the bench and judge for yourself? Judge Pickles? It was Judge Pickles, was that a guess? Yeah. Good guess, <laughs> good guess. That was for 81 pounds. Back to you, Tom. OK, Paul. Well, Paul, best of luck. This is it, final round. Five. Another five. And that's 25, so 35 in total. Off we go, Michael. 20. Treble one. And five gives us 28. The score that's still leading, Paul, is 35. 20. One. And 19 gives you 40. And the round. Good guess from Sean, wins you this question for £40. York and Palmer are both types of which foodstuff? Cheese. It's not cheese. I offer it now to Richard, who's next highest. Ham? It is ham. Well done, that gives you £35. <laughs> Let's have a look at the scores at the end of pounds for points. Lucy and Michael, £160. Paul and Sean, £175. But the winners and going through to Bully's prize board with a very impressive £446 is Richard and Paul. <laughs> so it's bye for now to Paul and Sean and Lucy and Michael. In you come. Come on. <laughs> Great game. Enjoyed that. Very exciting. OK, of course, you don't go away empty handed, do you? You've got your bullies, you've got your dirt, you've got your tankers, T-shirts, games, DVDs, and you also get the money that you won in the first two rounds, of course, which for Paul and Sean was £175, Lucy and Michael, £160. Still to come, Bully's prize board, the Stir Prize Gamble, and another special guest is going to throw for charity. We'll see you soon. <laughs>